Regarding the Russian attack um, and current situation in Ukraine, I could actually say many words, but I think the best would be to uh, quote the name of uh, a great track by The Prodigy. <laughs> that is, I'm sorry for my kid going nuts <laughs> in the background. He doesn't know what we're talking about. Okay, but so, okay. Uh, I could say many words, but I think uh, uh, the best would be just to quote the name of a great track by The Prodigy, that is, Invaders Must Die. Well, um, it's important to, I think, to understand that uh, this is not just a Russian invasion attempt. It's a war against uh, all modern world, all the humanity and uh, its values uh, against all that we love. It's absolutely good versus evil, uh, with no shades of grey, I think. And, well, they say good always wins in the end. And I'm a strong believer of that. So, cheers to that. All right, thank you very much. Let's uh, try and talk about something a bit more positive. So, let's talk about Violet Ray more. So, how did it all get started in Kiev in 2012? Well, uh, that's a, that was a kind of funny story, uh, as it is <laughs> fre uh, frequently with uh, how bands uh, are being formed and start, and we are no exception. So, uh, before Violet Tremor, I had some uh, prior experience of composing music and uh, playing uh, in, in local bands um, as a keyboard player and um, a bit later as a vocalist. Uh, with my previous band, we've uh, even released a self-produced album. Uh, however, um, uh, the real story of Wild Tremor started when I was contacted in social networks uh, by a girl who uh, wanted to purchase this album of my uh, former band. Uh, we've had uh, a nice talk. And I've sent her the uh, CD via mail. Uh, a bit later, the activity of my former band started to fade out due to, well, a couple of reasons. Um, in maybe half a year, I suppose. I was contacted by that girl again. Uh, she wanted to know how, uh, how I was doing. Well, I've complained a bit, uh, uh, told her the truth that... Uh, in terms of music making, uh, things were not going too well, that uh, I was having a bit of a pause, of a creative pause, and uh, that I needed a guitarist to go on with my uh, creative endeavors. Uh, unexpectedly, she replied that maybe it was something she could help with. And then she introduced me to her husband, uh, Vitaly, who <laughs> appeared to be a guitarist. Well, uh, before we knew it, <laughs> we had uh, Violet Rimer formed, and the rest is history. You mentioned the style of the band. How would you describe it in your own words? It is said that speaking about music is as, as hard as dancing about architecture. So it's not <laughs> the easiest thing to describe. But, uh, you know, I think Wild Tremor is uh, some interesting mix uh, mixture of uh, influences that I had on me uh, during different life periods uh, in terms of music I listened to. Well, uh, I was raised on uh, the uh, synth electronic music of 80s, like uh, Depeche Mode, Alphaville, AHA, uh, Tears for Fears, so-called new wave music, and it's still in my blood, in my blood somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere very deep. However, as I grew on, I, I've started to mm, I uh, feel interest uh, in other kinds of music, more guitar-driven music, uh, more rock and metal uh, types of music, well, gothic music, to say the truth. And now we call ourselves Dark Synth Rock, and uh, that is the uh, closest thing we had in our minds to describe uh, our music. Uh, because uh, honestly, uh, 
I don't know other bands that play some similar things. It's uh, it's always either more driven to uh, electronic music or to uh, guitar driven music, uh, but uh, not uh, balanced like in our case. So it's somewhere <laughs> best of both worlds. And there is obviously some gothic and uh, dark wave influences on us. So I don't actually consider uh, our band as a metal band. It's actually not a metal band in any case. But we have some power riffs and uh, some overdriven and distorted guitars as well. So, as I've warned you, <laughs> this is not the easiest thing to answer. Outside of music, uh, it seems that visuals have uh, always been a big part of uh, Violet Raymer too. Well, yes. Well, I've always believed that music is another form of a storytelling, just like uh, literature or filmmaking or uh, creative arts. I was always fond of uh, great stories and uh, fictional universes. Uh, they are in my <laughs> blood also. So with Violet Rimer, I try to uh, develop that idea. Uh, well, as some might know, there is some fictional a uh, dark fantasy, mystic universe behind our music and some kind of stories behind uh, many songs, well, most of songs actually. So this idea just demanded mm, visuals to be properly presented. Well, luckily, we have Vitali, who is uh, not only a great guitarist, but also an illustrator and designer and an animator also. So all of our visuals, except maybe uh, lyric videos that we have on YouTube, are made by him and we are proud to release uh, not only music but visuals as well uh, as well that uh, complement each other we have actually big ambitions uh, in that regard i hope in future we will be able to release some uh, big uh, visual things like uh, animations cartoons and other things where do you draw inspiration for these uh, stories and music and visuals? On a most basic level, we draw inspiration from uh, well, liter uh, literature, video games, mythology, and well, fairy tales. Uh, there's a whole lot also of uh, steampunk uh, aesthetics uh, in our visuals and stage outfits. So uh, that art style uh, has some great influence, in, uh, influence on us as well, and as well as uh, dark fantasy, as I've mentioned. Well, we also tend to incorporate some horror and uh, mystic uh, themes in, uh, into our music, so maybe a kind of uh, uh, Edgar Poe-ish uh, atmosphere <laughs> in there as well. Well, and most obviously, uh, we uh, also use many theatrical elements in our music storytelling. So, <laughs> yes, uh, we like masks. There are actually a couple of masks uh, here in my place. The closest to me is well, here. <laughs> well, I'm surrounded by many uh, interesting and uh, geeky stuff that have some soul behind them. How is it to plan and play concerts at the moment? Well, as to planning and playing concerts in such troubled times, well, you know, if the evil forces forces want to take our life joy from us, they won't succeed. Well, the Ukrainian military forces are uh, fighting so hard uh, exactly for the other parts of the country to at least have a possibility to live a well, semi-normal life, and that is a highest act uh, of their heroism. Well, more, ob more objectively speaking, I think that, uh, well, as you might know, the war is taking place now mostly in the eastern and southern parts uh, of the country now. So in other parts, life is slowly, well, trying to get back to normal as much as it is possible, which is hard. Um, considering uh, frequent uh, air raid alarms and curfew, 
not to mention general um, sense of uh, anxiety and stress. But what, uh, <laughs> but what this war um, has shown to us is that there's actually no limits uh, to a human ability to adapt. There is never a moment that we that the thoughts uh, about the war leave our heads, uh, but we stay united and well play some concerts. That is, you no, know, that is a kind of a coping mechanism of a kind. <laughs> and uh, if people have take some delight in our music, and if uh, it makes uh, their lives a bit. Uh, easier to, to live in this situation that what else is music made for actually how do you see the future of uh, violet raymore at this moment uh well uh, we had planned an uh planned an album release before the war and we've uh, chosen and recorded the uh, nine songs for it well our songs are long so nine songs are actually 54 minutes of music um uh, we've recorded them, started uh, to mix them, and in, somewhere in the middle of the process, uh, the war happened, and we've postponed that, uh, that things. We had some other things to take care of, especially in the first months of the war. Uh, so it's maybe 50% ready. We have still to mix all of them, actually. Uh, but now that we have uh, the first uh, song from the album mixed and released, that is Jach, Jach, well, the uh, other songs, uh, well, hopefully, <laughs> they will be mixed faster because we have a uh, template of the sound and we will just to have to adapt it for, uh, for every other song and fine-tune everything. Uh, but as to release date, well, who knows? That's not something we can uh, predict at the moment. However, before the outbreak of the war, as I've said, we had an uh, album release planned, but we also had uh, planned a Ukrainian tour, uh, tour, 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 <laughs> to, to, to Ukraine, some Ukrainian big cities. So maybe the album release and Ukrainian tour are the first things we need to do once things are back to normal. Uh, besides that, we already have another release scheduled, so we will maintain the activity. Hopefully there is another song in a couple of months, and yet another song in well, yet another couple of months, and we'll see what happens next. Well, and uh, strategically speaking, we really plan and desire to expand our music quest since uh, there is a strong uh, gothic dark wave uh, synth rock well you name it uh, fun movement there and we believe uh, many people uh, in the west uh, will appreciate us uh, it's a bit hard to predict something uh, anything actually in these circumstances but <laughs> i'm a strong believer as i've said that well uh, good always wins and we will still have our chances to do whatever we dream and plan with our music. Actually, we've always wanted to be, uh, um, always wanted our music to be uh, heard in Western countries. Well, most of our songs are in English, actually. Uh, so I think we will try to do that as much as we will be able to. But let's wait until, well, you know, in Ukraine, we, <laughs> we don't say after the war, we say after the victory. <laughs> so uh, let's wait until the victory and then we will conquer the world with our music. 